Imagine that matter is so densely packed that nothing can escape. I'm talking about black holes. Black holes seem to be the endpoint of stellar evolution. In this video we will look at 20 interesting facts about black holes. But I would like to talk about a few things before I go on the order. Most information about black holes actually comes from theory or mathematical models. That's why some theories are contradictory. For example, he says that the thought of black holes as portals is not possible for NASA. But he says it could be. They also write articles that most of the resources on the internet could be portals. Also, in this video, I think you will see facts about black holes that you have not seen before and you do not know because it has been prepared by using many sources in both English and other languages. That's why I think I deserve one like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow science, technology, fun and educational content. Now let's take a look at the 20 most interesting facts about black holes. 20. Black holes are more efficient at generating energy than regular stars. Like our sun, stars produce large amounts of energy through nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion converts about 0.7% of the mass into energy as small atomic nuclei come together to form a single heavier nuclei. Scientists have even suggested that this kind of energy could be used to power future black hole starships. However, black holes are 9.3% more efficient than stars when it comes to energy production, and that's because of the spinning disk of matter around them. The material closest to the edge of the event horizon on the inner rim will orbit at higher velocities than the material on the outer rim of the disk. This is because the event horizon of a black hole has a stronger gravitational pull the closer you get to it. As matter orbits and moves rapidly, materials heat up to billions of degrees. Through this process, mass is converted into energy. The process is known as black body radiation. 19. If you fall into a black hole, you become spaghetti. What do you mean you get spaghetti? Funny as the name may sound, the way it works is creepy, and it's because of the way gravity works. For example, your feet are closer to the center of the earth than your upper body, and therefore they are pulled more strongly. Near a black hole, your feet will stretch first as gravity pulls you in, because it is further away from the center of the black hole. The upper part of your body is also absorbed at a slower rate, results in a real stretch into a long spaghetti-like strand. At the very center of a black hole is a gravitational singularity. It is a one-dimensional point where a large mass is compressed into an infinitesimal space. Density and gravity become infinite, and space-time curves endlessly. That's way too much infinity to make your head spin. In fact, it seems that even the laws of physics can't last that long. As the American physicist Kip Thorne said, the singularity is the point where all the laws of physics collapse. The equations that have cracked so far show that an object falling into a black hole spaghettis or lengthens as it approaches the singularity. If it were you falling into the black hole, you might see distorted images as the light bends from your perspective. Eventually, the disintegrated object completely loses its dimensionality and disappears into singularity. 18. Black holes can merge and grow. Galaxies tend to merge and grow more prominently as a result, but when that happens, black holes do the same. Many believe that supermassive black holes are the result of such collisions. The Andromeda Galaxy is currently on a collision course with our galaxy, the Milky Way. When the two galaxies merge in about 4.5 billion years, the supermassive black holes at their centers will merge into an even larger black hole. 17. Most galaxies have a supermassive black hole at their center. At the center of our Milky Way is a supermassive black hole called Sagittarius A. It is about 5,000 light years from us. One of the closest galaxies to us is Andromeda, which has a supermassive black hole at its center that is about 100,000 times the mass of our Sun. Many other galaxies that scientists analyzed often exhibited the same scenario. Supermassive black holes are often found at the center of most galaxies. 16. Black holes have three layers. If we were to take apart a black hole, we would see that it has three layers, outer layer, inner layer, and singularity. The outer layer is called the outer event horizon, which is the boundary around the mouth of the black hole. Near this region, the gravitational force is not strong and objects can still escape from a black hole. The inner layer located in the middle is called the inner event horizon. Here the gravitational force is so strong that even light cannot escape from it. When an object reaches this layer, it begins to fall towards the center of the black hole. This is where the mass is concentrated. The singularity, the center of a black hole, has an even greater gravity. 15. Theoretically, anything can turn into a black hole. Our current understanding of physics shows that anything can turn into a black hole. Theoretically, if you could make something small enough, all that compressed matter would become extremely dense, resulting in a black hole. In fact, we now know that black holes are formed by gravitational collapse of stars about 20 to 30 times more massive than our sun. According to the Space Telescope Science Institute, about one in every thousand stars is big enough to be a black hole. 14. 
Black holes can reach gigantic sizes, but they can also be as small as a photon. Black holes are divided into three types based on their mass. Stellar black holes. A massive star can turn into a black hole when it runs out of fuel. All black holes start small, then grow larger as they consume matter around the galaxy. Supermassive black holes. Supermassive black holes, ranging from hundreds of thousands to billions of solar masses, can form in a variety of ways. First, a small black hole may be lucky enough to encounter a large gas cloud. Hundreds of thousands of tiny black holes can also merge to form one giant hole. Finally, a star cluster, a group of many stars, can collapse together to form a supermassive black hole. Intermediate black holes. Astrophysicists from NASA have only recently discovered that there are black holes with masses between the stellar and supermassive variety. These medium mass black holes were first discovered in 2014 and contain several hundred to several hundred thousand solar masses. Bonus, primordial black holes. These hypothetical black holes may have formed shortly after the Big Bang, following energy particle interaction. As such, they imply an entirely new mode of formation, different from the collapse of stars that gave birth to the black holes we all know. NASA says these black holes behave like dark matter. Hypothetically speaking, the smallest black hole could be the size of the Planck length, the smallest that could happen. The LHC at CERN is trying to produce quantum black holes at energies of about 13 TeV. When the new particle accelerator at CERN, the European Research Center near Geneva, went into operation a few years ago, some were concerned that many black holes could form there. The energy at which collisions occur at the Large Hadron Collider is so high from previous experiments that some even suspected that the enthusiastic enthusiasm for research could herald the end of the world. Other publications aimed at making things easier have shown that if such small holes are formed in high-energy collisions, they will become unstable and disappear almost instantly. 13. Actually, the idea of a black hole-like object has been around for centuries. It wasn't until 1967 that Princeton physicist John Wheeler coined the term black hole. But scientists were describing large objects compressed into small volumes and theorizing about what would happen long before that. A common confusion is that Albert Einstein was the first to discover black holes, but that's not true at all. While Einstein was responsible for developing the general theory of relativity that predicts black holes in 1950, it was Carl Schwarzschild who used these equations to prove that black holes really exist. After solving the Schwarzschild equations, he found the Schwarzschild radius, which is the minimum threshold for a mass to turn into a black hole. If this condition is met, any mass could theoretically become a black hole. According to this theory, if you squeeze the Earth into a small sphere with a radius of 8.9 millimeters, it should become a black hole. The Schwarzschild radius for the Sun is 3 kilometers, but long before Einstein or Schwarzschild, in the 1790s, John Mitchell of England and Pierre-Simon Laplace of France independently suggested the existence of an invisible star. They calculated the mass and size an object would need to have an escape velocity greater than the speed of light, now called the event horizon. However, their results were wrong because they used Newton's laws instead of Einstein's general theory of relativity. 12. Black holes can be wormholes. A wormhole, or a Lorentzian wormhole is a kind of theoretical tunnel in space-time and is often used as the preferred mode of interstellar travel in movies like Star Trek. The opening is a shortcut from intervening space to another place in the universe. This looks like the opposite of a black hole, which is less of a funnel and more of a meat grinder. However, some physicists argue that there are many properties that both black holes and wormholes share. Maybe a wormhole is a black hole and vice versa. 11. Black holes aligned in the same direction were discovered. Astronomers in South Africa have recently discovered a distant region of space where supermassive black holes in several galaxies are aligned in the same direction. That is, gas emissions gush out as if they were synchronized by design. Existing theories cannot explain how black holes, located 300 million light-years apart, seem to move in harmony. In fact, according to the researchers, the only way this is possible is for these black holes to spin in the same direction, something that may have occurred during galaxy formation in the early universe. 10. Black hole merges create gravitational waves that travel at the speed of light. Another intriguing aspect of black holes is the discovery of gravitational waves produced by the merging of two black holes. Gravitational waves are ripples that travel in space-time at the speed of light. They were first detected directly by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory scientific collaboration in 2015 and confirmed another important prediction of Einstein's general theory of relativity. Black holes can be used to move fast through space. This is impossible with current technology, but here's the theory. A double black hole is a pair of black holes orbiting each other. It is necessary to rotate in the orbit of these black holes, just like a circus artist riding a bicycle in circles. Of course, how far to go to the black hole must be calculated in order not to fall into the black hole. The ship will accelerate as it flies from one hole to the next. 
and once it reaches nearly the speed of light, it will be much easier to leave the orbit of the circle and go to its destination, a planet or a star in a neighboring galaxy. We can actually do this using the gravitational effect of massive objects like Jupiter, but we cannot expect it to accelerate as much as a black hole. Because a black hole has an incredibly strong gravitational force, it can accelerate up to the speed of light. 9. Black holes may have a counterpart. Black holes are the core remnants of collapsed stars that absorb all the matter around them. They are the vacuum machines of the universe and their functionality can be very good. With all the matter circulating in space, such as supernova explosions or other events, many other celestial bodies would be in danger. This is because the remnants of other planets and stars can just as well cause collisions with other objects. That's why black holes with their absorption abilities can be a good thing. On the contrary, there may be something else that discharges the matter absorbed by the black hole into the universe. And if this is proven, we can say that black holes are a kind of portal. Buddha can enable us to explore and act more in the universe. Maybe the opposite of a black hole is dark energy or dark matter. From mathematical considerations, it is conceivable that, in principle, white holes can exist as well as black holes. If you simply reverse the curvature of space-time, the opposite situation arises, nothing can enter such a white hole. Even light is so strongly deflected and reflected that it can never go beyond the event horizon of such a white hole. In principle, a white hole can connect to a black hole, creating a wormhole. In science fiction, such beings are popular for traveling through space and time. But these intriguing speculations should not hide the fact that black holes are still among exotic species in the universe, and few reliable facts are known about them. Astronomical observations only point to the existence of black holes, effects such as fire walls. 8. Time slows down near the black hole. One of the most mind-blowing aspects of black holes is their effect on time. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, time actually slows down near a black hole. This effect is known as gravitational time dilation. According to one study, one hour in a black hole would be equivalent to 100 million years for a human on Earth. As a general rule in the theory of relativity, the faster you move, the slower time passes for you. If you were to reach the event horizon of a black hole, the strong gravity would move you so fast that it would slow down time itself. To someone outside the black hole, time seems to have stopped for you. But from your own perspective, you can turn around and see that the outside world is moving fast for that second before all the lights go away. 7. Black holes can stop time. If you wore a spacesuit that would make you immune to a black hole's gravity, you would see that objects passing through the black hole's event horizon slow down in time and then freeze. In other words, it's as if they've never crossed the event horizon. This is because space-time is distorted and light takes longer to reach the glass of your telescope. In fact, it takes an infinitely long time. As time passes, the light then redshifts and becomes dimmer as the wavelength increases, eventually disappearing from the viewer's view as it transforms into infrared radiation and then radio waves. 6. Supermassive black holes also give birth to stars and determine how many stars a galaxy gets. Just as planet-sized fragments are ejected from the accretion disk, a recent discovery shows that massive black holes occasionally release enough material to form entirely new stars. Even more remarkable is that they have descended into deep space, some far beyond their own galaxies. A 2018 study in the journal Nature suggests that supermassive black holes not only create new stars, but also control how many stars a galaxy gets by directly affecting how quickly the star formation process ends. Star formation, perhaps oddly enough, stops faster in galaxies with smaller, in a way, black holes at the center. 5. What black holes absorb does not actually disappear. At first glance, black holes seem to wipe out everything they absorb. However, quantum physics firmly assumes that information is never truly lost, only redistributed, in black holes. This happens just before the surface. The three-dimensional matter is split into thousands of two-dimensional pieces that then become part of the black hole's surface. So this can be understood as a hologram in which 3D information is recoded into 2D information. 4. We can use quantum physics to see inside a black hole. Nothing can escape a black hole. However, you can create entangled quantum pairs by only submitting one probe at a time. Of course, then one would no longer have access to this particle. But according to the principle of quantum physical entanglement, one would remain attached to the pure particle outside. By observing the behavior of the particles left behind, it may be possible to look behind the curtain. Robert Mann and Alexander Smith of the University of Waterloo explored this possibility. In principle, a quantum detector can distinguish between such a gin and a normal black hole, says Mann. Quantum effects cause a detector to click in a different order than a normal black hole. This would probably only work if the event horizon did not consist of a wall of fire that made such attempts impossible. 
However, other researchers have explored this possibility as well. According to a model, the test quantum can even survive a step-by-step -step through a firewall before it becomes unusable as a result. It probably won't be possible to find out whether such a thing as walls of fire really exists anytime soon. Fortunately, there aren't any black holes in our galactic environment that we can observe so sharply that we can get more detailed information. 3. Black holes can give birth to new universes. It may sound crazy that black holes can form new universes, especially since we're not sure other universes exist. But the theory behind this is an active area of research today. A very simplified version of how this works is that when you look at the numbers, our universe today has some very favorable conditions that combine to create life. If you had adjusted these conditions even by a very small amount, then we wouldn't be here. The singularity at the center of black holes violates our standard laws of physics and could, in theory, change these conditions and give birth to a new, slightly modified universe. A star that collapses into a black hole very quickly descends to infinite density, and time stops, that's according to general relativity. And basically the moment time stops, it's delayed by quantum mechanics and quantum uncertainty. Instead of collapsing to infinite density, the star. The point where time ends in a black hole merges with the point where time begins. A big bang in a new universe, says lead physicist Lee Smolin. You can watch the video presentation Is Our Universe Already Inside a Black Hole to learn more about what would happen if we were inside a black hole and about intertwined universes. 2. Black holes evaporate over time. This surprising discovery was first predicted by Stephen Hawking in 1974. This phenomenon is called Hawking radiation, after the famous physicist. Hawking radiation spreads a black hole's mass across space and time. And it actually does this until there is nothing left, essentially killing the black hole. For this reason, Hawking radiation is also known as black hole evaporation. Quantum theory asserts that there are always virtual particles entering and exiting existence. When this happens, a particle and its accompanying antiparticle appear. However, they can recombine and disappear again. Strange things can happen when this process takes place near the event horizon of a black hole. Instead of a particle-antiparticle pair existing for a moment and then annihilating each other, one of them could gravitationally fall into a black hole and the other particle could fly into space. We're talking about very long time scales, time scales much longer than the age of our universe. 1. The paradox of information being lost in a black hole. Scientists do not know what awaits a person who falls below the event horizon. Will it be absorbed by a black hole or smashed by tidal forces? Or will he find the back wall of a bookshelf there? As we saw in the American science fiction movie Interstellar. In her most read article of 2015, BBC Earth reporter Amanda G. Efter predicts that reality will split in two once one reaches the event horizon. In one reality it will burn instantly. In another reality it will dive into the depths of a black hole alive and unharmed. The fact is that, according to physical principles, no medium can cross the horizon of events and must remain outside it, otherwise all available information will be lost for our world. On the other hand, the laws of physics also require that a person or any other object fly over the horizon alive and unharmed, without encountering any unusually dangerous events in its path. Otherwise, the general theory of relativity will be violated. Scientists call this paradoxical combination the paradox of information loss in a black hole. The American physicist Leonard Susskind realized that there is no such thing as a paradox. Only two human states are explained by the impressions of those who fell into the black hole and those who observed the process. These two people will never meet again and will not be able to compare their observations. Therefore, physical laws are not violated. Yes, we have come to the end of 20 interesting facts about black holes. I hope you like. The most interesting fact for me was fact 4 because it looks like we can actually do that thanks to quantum physics. Do not forget to write your favorite fact in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.